What's the backpack for, Tuck? Is that your lunch? <laughs> A whole box of oatmeal? <laughs> No, there's stuff in it. What's in it? All kinds of stuff, but I can't tell you right now. Okay, you show me later? Yeah, when I take a break. Okay. You know just give me a break? <laughs> Very funny. Is that a blinky robot? Good morning, guys. We're a little ways through our school day today. The boys had breakfast and all of that, and they're getting some work done. I need to eat something, but I don't know what I want yet. And I don't even know what we're doing for lunch today. I don't have a plan or dinner. Adam's going to bring something home. But today, I wanted to show you guys two fun things I got in the mail yesterday. One was sent to us by a company, and something was sent to us by a friend that's going to be a lot of fun. So I've got that to do today. I have a whole to-do list of things I need to clean and all of that kind of stuff. So we'll see what we get to, but it might just be a busy school day because we want to get some extra work done because Adam's off tomorrow and he's only got one day off, so we want to not have to do school tomorrow. So if they finish all their stuff today, we can take the day off tomorrow and they'll still be on track. So we're going to see how the day goes, maybe get some extra work done. So come along and spend the day with us and we'll see what we get up to. So while the boys are finishing up some of their independent work, I made myself a late breakfast. I'm cutting up an onion and some leftover ham we had in the fridge. And I'm going to make one of those egg tortilla omelet things. I don't know exactly what they're called. I've made them before. It's basically a breakfast quesadilla, but you make it like an omelet? I don't know. They're delicious, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to get my onions and my ham cooking and some butter. Then I'm gonna add in some scrambled eggs, slap a tortilla on top, and let that stick for a few minutes. Flip it over, fold it over, and cook it like a quesadilla. And this is so, so good. So for lunch, the boys want some chicken nuggets. We have these spicy ones, and then these are the same brand. They're just regular chicken nuggets. They came in a box. So my sister has a little vegan grocery store, and she got a case of stuff that obviously is not vegan, so she gave them to us. It was a bunch of bags of these, and then a bunch of these, and these came in boxes, so we just took them out to save room in the freezer. These, they're the, I think they were the Applegate. Garrett! Bring me your chicken nugget box. Let me see it. So yeah, the boys kept one of the boxes I taped it up. They've been using it in their kitchen. But <laughs> yeah, these gluten-free chicken nuggets from Applegate, that's what these are. If you cook these in the air fryer, they taste just like McDonald's chicken nuggets. They're really, really good. I mean, I wouldn't pay $9 for half a pound of chicken nuggets, but they're good. So I'm just going to throw these in the air fryer. I'll make a little bit extra in case Adam wants some. I ate my little tortilla omelet thing, so I'm not hungry for lunch. Tucker likes his with honey. And then we'll just have, like, some fruit, veggies, mm, chips. I don't know. Whatever I make with it. Ooh, the good ones? They're dis they were discontinuing them. So they marked them down to five dollars. That was nine ninety nine. But they had a dollar coupon for the other ones up to thirty two ounce, so I paid four bucks for those. I paid four dollars for a hot dog? <laughs> yeah, but look at them, they're huge. Hey, I'm just eating I'm just pretending to eat on Those are what what do you eat those on? That won't fit on a hot dog dogs. bun. But look, it shows it as a hot dog. You can't eat that on no, a hot dog bun. Get Nathan makes a uh, bigger. It's as big as your head. Nathan makes. Is it as big as my head?
So while everyone's still playing outside, Adam's playing some frisbee golf and the boys are swinging. I figured I'd show you the things that we got in the mail. You better stop that barking. Hush. So our friend Laverne, one of our subscribers for a very long time and one of our good friends sent us, it got a little bit messed up in the mail. That's okay. It's still usable. I'm not worried about it. Since we're reading Charlotte's Web and doing all of that kind of stuff, she sent us the three movie collection. I didn't even know there was a Charlotte's Web too. I knew these two existed, but that was so nice of her. We don't have these and I was planning on finding them for when we're, blah, 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 when we're done with the book, if I could talk today. We just finished school. I'm tired. When we're done with the book, I planned on watching the movies with them and then we do like a fun, snacky, like I was thinking, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, there's like a fair at the county fair scene. So I figured we'd do some fun like fair food, corn dogs and maybe funnel cake or something and make a day of it and watch the movies. <laughs> so that's super cool. Thank you so much, Laverne. And she also sent this book. I love this book. Instructional Guides for Literature. It's for Charlotte's Web and it's got... It goes chapter by chapter. There's all kinds of stuff to do, vocabulary, like story structure, all that kind of stuff. This is super neat, and now it makes me want to find them for other books that we plan on reading. So that is so awesome. This is going to be so much fun for the rest of the book, and we can still go back and do the ones from the chapters we've already read. I can't even talk today. I was pushing the boys in the swing. I'm out of breath. But anyway, super neat. Tomorrow, since Garrett finished his test today, he just finished an extra test that he was going to have to do tomorrow. I'm just mumbling up a storm over here. Um, since he's done early, we don't have to do it tomorrow. And Tucker's always ahead because his paces are a little bit easier. But tomorrow, we can just read some more of our book and do some of these activities and all that stuff since Adam gets home, not earlier tomorrow, but when he gets home, we're off school, so it's kind of fun to just do easy school on the last day of school, like I said before. So thank you so much, Laverne. The boys, I sent her a picture when they got it in the mail. They were so excited. They're so happy, and they wanted to watch the movie last night when I opened it. I was like, no, we have to finish the book. So I plan on finding more of these. I think these are so neat. So thank you, Laverne, so much. And the next thing, we got sent this knife set. They're not paying me to review these or anything. They just sent us them for free just to include them in a video and give you my honest opinion. So this is the brand right here. They have a store on Amazon. I think you say it, Bee Fonder. They sent this to us to try out and we love the knife set we have, but I saw this one and I was like, ooh, those look super nice. So it's an 11 piece set. So I'm going to open them up and show you guys in just a second, but they're FDA certified, high quality, high carbon stainless steel blades, specially designed blades and handles, 11 piece knife set. So obviously keep out of reach of children. Um, maintenance. That's what I was looking for. Sharpening, wash the knives by hand. Avoid using the dishwasher, which is what I usually do anyway. Did you know if you put them in the dishwasher, they go dull faster and you have to sharpen them more. So anyway, these are super cool. I just think they looked really neat. Oh, and they look like they're really good quality. So there is, it's hard to see in here. Is this all of them? Oh, okay. So this is what we have in here. We have... A chef knife, a slicing knife, a bread knife, a Japanese santoku knife, a serrated utility knife, and then we have a fish knife, which won't get used for fish in our house unless I convince Adam to make me some, a curved paring knife, a multi, a multi-function clip, I don't know what that is. Is that a peeler? 
I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And it comes with a knife sharpener. So, I'm a little sad it doesn't come with, like, the steak knives like a knife set usually does, but we have some. So we'll still use those. So I'm going to open this up and see what it's like and check it out. So I've had a lot of you ask about the knife block that we have in the background there, and we love those knives. We always have since we bought them. They're just really good knives. So I've never felt the need to get any other new ones, but when I saw these, I knew we had to try them. They look like they were really good quality, and I know Adam likes new kitchen toys just as much as I do, so I thought we would try these out and let you know what we think about them. When I open these, they look super nice. I love the stainless steel and black because that's mostly what's in my kitchen. We picked out the white microwave that doesn't go with anything, but I love it. So this does come with a knife sharpener. I don't know if this is my favorite kind of sharpener. Well, I guess I don't really have a preference. Adam's the one <laughs> that usually sharpens the knives, but he uses like the rod sharpener. But it is a nice sharpener. I just wish it had somewhere to go on the block because you just kind of have to put it in a drawer, which I don't have a lot of drawer space. So it comes with a bunch of different size knives with all different kinds of uses. Adam's the kind of guy that if he just had his one favorite chef's knife, I'm sure he'd be fine. Like he always uses the same knife. But me, I don't know, I like smaller knives. I don't know if it's because my hands are smaller or because I'm always cutting smaller things. Like if I'm making lunch for the boys, I don't really need a big chef knife. So it's nice to have some other options. And this came with so many options. Like I said, I wish it had some steak knives with it because I just like them to all go together. But these are super nice and they look like really good quality. So we're gonna try these out while we cook dinner and let you know what we think. And after you watch this, if you decide that you wanna try them out too, I'll have a discount code down in the description box for you and I'll leave that information later on in the video. So for dinner tonight, we're making a cheesy chicken pot pie. This turned out so delicious. You have to try this one. But we needed to cut up our carrots and potatoes, which if you don't have a good knife and you're trying to cut carrots or potatoes, you know you don't have a good knife. This thing went through them so easily. Granted, they're brand new, so I guess time will tell, but this cut through the carrots and potatoes with minimal effort. And we did notice that they're really lightweight our last set was kind of more heavyweight, so it felt like you had more control over it. But I'm no knife expert, so I don't know which one is better or which one I really prefer because I tried these out too and I really like them. So if you want some lightweight knives that cut really well, these are for you. So we're just gonna get all of our carrots and potatoes cut up and we also sliced up a couple of chicken breasts. And we're gonna get all of this cooking and seasoned in a skillet and ready for our pot pie. So the only thing I would say is it needs somewhere to keep the things it came with and it needs scissors and steak knives. And not only that, the bottom of this. Oh yeah, we put this put, on a chopping block because it felt like it was going to scratch put, our like, counter. They little like plastic things or rubber things, just four of them, four little dots or something. Yeah. 
it wouldn't feel but like But if you don't have a cheap laminate countertop, you probably don't have to worry about it, but I didn't want to scratch the counter up, so it's on a cutting board we don't use. But it looks cool. Yeah, it's a good, nice it looks nice setup. over there. So I don't really have any measurements for this. You can use as much carrots and potatoes as you want. It depends on how many pot pies you want to make, really. We probably used two or three smaller potatoes and two or three carrots. And we just threw these in a skillet with some butter. And we're gonna throw in some salt and pepper, some garlic and onion powder, some parsley and seasoned salt. And I think that's it. I'll have the recipe or, you know, what we used down in the description box so you can check that out if you want. So we're just gonna get these cooking up until they're mostly tender and then we'll take them out and start cooking our chicken. And for the chicken, we're just gonna use some of this Cajun bait smoked jalapeno blend seasoning. This stuff is so delicious. So we just threw some more butter in the pan and we're gonna put our chicken in there. It's on medium heat and we're gonna cook these for three to four minutes per side. Then we're gonna add all of our veggies back in and put this in the oven on 350, I believe, for about six minutes. And this turns out so good. The chicken's always so tender and juicy. And when those potatoes and carrots roasted with it, it made them even more amazing. And I think that's why this pot pie turned out so good. Once that was done, we took the chicken back out of the pan to chop it up. And then we added in a little bit of Velveeta cheese, some flour and some chicken broth. And this is gonna make like a creamy, cheesy gravy all over our veggies. So good. And then we're gonna add some frozen corn and peas. Of course, you could add any veggies you like. And we're just gonna get this all mixed up until that gravy is yummy and delicious. And then we're gonna get everything ready to put in our pie. So I'm just using a store-bought pie crust. There is nothing wrong with a store-bought pie crust. Sure, I could make my own, I've done it before, but these are delicious, so no judgment here. Use the store-bought all you want. I'm just gonna put the bottom crust into the pan, and then I'm gonna poke some holes with a fork and add in our filling.
We put in our chopped up chicken first and spread it out all even, and then I'm adding in the veggies. I could just pour it all in here, but I decided to spoon it in. That way I could make sure there's veggies everywhere because no one wants to get a piece of chicken pot pie and like only get potatoes or only carrots. You want some of all of it, so I was trying to even it out. And then I'm gonna pour in that cheesy gravy and add on the top crust. So once I get the top crust on there, I'm just going to crimp the edges together in the hopes that nothing leaks out, but you'll see here that didn't work. Sometimes it does. But this doesn't have to be pretty. Mine's not perfect. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to taste really good. And this does when it's all done. So who cares what it looks like? I cut a couple of vent holes in the top and we're going to stick this in the oven on 425 degrees for about 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, I'm going to put some foil around the edge of the crust so that it doesn't burn and brush it with some butter and we'll cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes more until it's golden brown and delicious. And with ours, we like to add some extra gravy. So we have some brown gravy and chicken gravy to make a sort of copycat KFC gravy. And I'm just gonna make this in a pan on the stove and then dinner is done. So see, not perfect at all. It leaked out everywhere. I'm glad I put a pan on the bottom rack in the oven. Also, I can't stand how the camera never shows the true color of bread or brown things. I don't know why. This was perfectly golden brown and so yummy. We ate almost this entire thing. So we topped ours off with some of that gravy and some more shredded cheese. And this was so good. Like I said, there was one piece left. Adam ate it for lunch the next day. We devoured this thing. Definitely worth a try, especially since fall is coming. If you guys are interested in checking out this knife set, I'll have a link down in my description box. Just click that little arrow down below. And I'll also have a 10% discount code for you that's good until September 25th. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and spending the day with us. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.